This scene does not belong in this movie, okay? I don't know what they were thinking, but th this scene changed me as a kid. They need, to, they need to be stopped. They need to be put in the ground for this one. <laughs> Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, is so ridiculously bad, and it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. This movie was made in 2009 by Blue Skies Animation, and it's like, it, it's not like they have the best track record but they've made some pretty beautiful films and visually stunning well for the most part films in my opinion robots is something that was like not necessarily visually the greatest but like i think narratively it was very good and like at the most like visually it had some good and like unique moments in it uh rio i still think rio is the most beautiful movie like one of the most beautiful movies uh what else they do? The Peanuts movie. They did the Peanuts movie, but like, when it comes to Ice Age, they, it just seems like they didn't really care. Ice Age, of course, being their cash cow, uh, the series that they started off with, if I'm not mistaken, um, back in 2002. But Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs is so far from the first movie, and I didn't even think the first movie was that good, to be honest. It feels like it's ruined a lot of the characters we know and love and had feelings with, connections with, and just sort of like, homogenizes them into this comic relief sort of role. I really can't tell you who's supposed to be serious throughout this whole journey because everyone just makes quips and comedic moments and doesn't really take anything around them seriously whatsoever. It honest to God feels like you're watching a Family Guy movie or like sort of long running series. Like it's, it's just not good. I don't know why they implemented this and why they changed their characters. I know like, I, I get it's supposed to be a family movie now, they're moving towards that, but like, a lot of these characters are maturing, but they don't feel mature whatsoever. I wanna touch on that a little bit later, but first I wanna talk about the animation. It feels like such a downgrade to what they're capable of. Like, I don't know if this is a B team. It feels like, honest to God, this is toxic, but like, it feels like this movie should've went like direct to home video. It's not good for theaters. There is a massive and I mean massive amount of motion blur in this whole entire movie and just blur in general like a lot of backgrounds get blurred which is absolutely fine but like it really does showcase how confident they are or the lack of confidence rather in their backgrounds in their environment in general and some of the characters like there's so much blur, it's so nasty. This is the third series that they're in the Ice Age, and there's not too much to do with the Ice Age, I get that, but like, these trees, they look like Play-Doh trees. They look like st ripped straight out of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> now we do get put in a better environment in the movie, but like, th we spend like, feels like 30, 40 almost minutes just nothing but back and forth dialogue for the most part in the ice age looking at these very bland backgrounds the snow like things we've already seen before which is like an obvious case that maybe this series should have ended <laughs> that being said the dinosaur utopia is actually beautiful like there is it's not like the best scenery in the world but like it is refreshing especially since we've been in ice for so long like it, it does do its job another weak point i found about this movie is the characters now no 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 i've never necessarily liked the characters in general but like in this iteration like there's something about the hairs on the characters mainly like the mammoths like they have jiggle physics on some of the parts like the hair or like the actual hair or whatever like that but like the fur coating there, there's some parts that are like super matted down and like never really move or anything like that or like they, they just like 
there's tiny hairs that stick out and I don't know why it just bothers me so fucking much while like other parts of their body like the muscle parts of their body just move and flow weirdly the only character I think really looks good is Scrat and Scratte mainly Scratte because like there's so much polish in her fur like characters with like short hairs they really did a good job with that but like long long hairs like Manny it's it, it doesn't look great and Sid Sid doesn't look good in general I know that was the point of his character but he just doesn't look good he looks he looks ass I do however like the attention to detail to a certain character mainly the quadrupeds like the way their muscles move they feel like an actual animal and like I know that sounds very obvious to say but like it's still appreciated nonetheless she's headed for lava falls that's where they care for the newborns to get there you've got to go through the jungle of misery across the chasm of death to the plates of woe not gonna lie the transitions are also sort of like a positive for this the transitions are very good the score is another piece of this puzzle which i really do appreciate i think it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely amazing and just it's so beautiful and light on the ears ice age has always had this motif that i feel is like super iconic and super like nostalgic almost like it brings you back to a time to where you feel like a kid it's so it's such a gorgeous sort of like melody i i really wish this was the end and that the series was treated better overall oh, wow it's amazing made it myself. Our family. Hey, why aren't I up there? There is a select few pop songs that got outsourced, but like, they are even integrated into the score. Like, the person doing the score, absolutely beautiful. You, you This person needs to be on more projects. I'm just saying. <laughs> There also is a cover done by Queen Latifah, which I think this is also the time they started doing covers at the end of their uh, songs or end of their movies rather. But um, it's it's not anything offensive. It's kind of cute. And I, as a kid, I had this as my ringtone and I was dancing to it a lot. I, I rewatched this movie so many times, both in 3D and like rented it as a kid. Like I, I really had so much faith in this movie, but it turns out it's ass. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Let's let, let's talk about this story, quote unquote story. I guess the main story is about Sid finding some dinosaur eggs under ice and wanting to raise it because Manny is now having a child of his own. And so therefore Sid is feeling left out and feeling like like the her the herd is splitting up because Diego doesn't want to deal with the child anyway. So um Sid tries to raise some kids and they're dinosaur kids and the mother ends up finding Sid and the dinosaur babies taking them back to the utopia which is under the ice and uh it becomes a big adventure trying to save Sid under the ice you know going to the dinosaur utopia now to be fair this sounds like a actual fun movie for the most part it doesn't necessarily it strays far away from the original ice age you know the serious stuff that uh the original ice age had but like i'm absolutely fine with ice age being a super fun movie and like drawing from all this like family sort of oriented content the main issue i have with this story is that it juggles so many plot lines it's it's very annoying and obnoxious to sort of like go through different characters after like 10 or 5 minutes or whatever like that and just 
not not have them connect fully until the end it just it feels bad in the original ice age there were parts to where like you know scrap was the comedy relief for the most part and so like they'd like change perspectives to him and show what he's up to but they'd always like he'd always be a super side character and like they'd focus on him very rarely which made me really love scrap in general made me like super excited to see what he was up to even though he was just chasing his nut but like in ice age 3 there's th we focus on sid and what he's doing with his babies and the mother dinosaur and then we also focus on manny and like his problem with uh his wife and uh giving birth or whatever like that and then we also also focus on scrat and it's like three three of them they don't need to it doesn't need to happen so realistically you would think that sid being gone would be absolutely amazing for like the serious characters like diego or like uh, manny to like talk to each other and bounce off of each other but that that's not what happens because everybody is comedy relief in this fucking movie like, like i'm really gonna be afraid of a pretty flower <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming. Diego, what are you doing here? Sightseeing. I thought those guys were extinct. Well, then that is one angry fossil. Sid! What? What is this pacing? It feels like something was supposed to be animated there, but never was. It makes it extremely annoying to really focus and give a shit about this movie because there, there's just everybody's making like quips or like not taking the situation serious and it's it's just super annoying throughout even even when we spend majority of the time like 30 minutes of the first part of the movie just talking to each other talking about like creating a conflict it's it's never really taken any serious it's stupid so instead of going to sid and getting comedy and going to manny and getting like something i don't know serious or insightful or just like something that's not overall the same vibe as sid no throughout the whole movie we just get comedy 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 and it's it's not good unironically i think the most serious arc in this movie or the most serious characters in general are like scrat and scrat like when they actually start to become romantically inclined to each other that's when they become more serious and it's that's not supposed to happen <laughs> it doesn't really help the case that there's a lot of dated reference humor in this movie which it doesn't need to be but you know they do it over and over again and like i get i get the main character is fucking raymond from everybody loves raymond but like I don't know, have some dignity. Pregnant lady wants to live. Uh, yabba dabba do. Uh, don't ever yabba dabba do that again. This, this really does suck because Ice Age was one of my comfort movies. And to be honest, it still is. Scrat, I still love Scrat and I love Scratte. But like the third one, like I thought for sure that I remembered having such a fun time with this movie, but it's it's just like not there it's smoke and mirrors and personally that is why i i'm giving this movie a two biggest strengths in this movie for me anyway being the score uh the musical soundtrack and to be honest that's it for the most part everything else in this movie being either mediocre or just just bad something i don't personally want to return to i am a big fan of ice age but i don't i can't really recommend this to anybody who really wants to watch the movie it's it's not that great to be honest and not really a good showcase of ice age in general i feel like this should have been the end of the ice age saga in general but that's all i have to say anyway how's it going pups it's a canine and i'm now, let me tell you about the time I used a sharpened clamshell to turn a T-Rex into a T-Rachel. Yo, new bottom surgery drop.